In this video we are going to talk about position properties. This chart is about the Australian against the Canadian dollar. We have a position ticket number 95885457. That's the same ticket number we see here. And now we want to find out how we can create an expert advisor that is able to output the position properties directly on the chart. To do that, please click the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. And now you should see the Meta Editor window and here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this one Simple Position Info, Continue, Continue and Finish. And now everything above the OnTick function here can be deleted. And please also remove the two command lines. The first thing we need to know is if positions for this currency pair exist. To find it out, we use position select and it will check the current symbol on the chart. And if that is true, we are going to continue. If we would have no open position, this value would be false. Let's open the if statement. And now we are going to count down the number of positions until zero. That is done by using a for loop. It uses the function positions total and will subtract one as long as the counter is above or equal zero. Now we want to calculate the ticket number. That is done by using the function position get ticket for the currently selected position. We can also calculate the currency pair for the position by using position get string, position underscore symbol. The open price for the position is calculated by using position get double, position underscore price underscore open. That is the open price here in this column. To calculate the current position price, we use position get double position underscore price underscore current. If you want to know the position profit, you can use position get double position underscore profit. But don't forget to calculate the position swap. Because position swap fees can have a big impact on your profit. And you can get the information by using position get double position underscore swap. If you don't see any swap fees here, they are simply hidden. Just enlarge this part, right click and select columns, swap. And here it is. Currently we don't pay any swap fees, but if you intend to hold your position overnight, that can be very costly. So what else do we need? We want to calculate the current position net profit that is done by simply adding position profit and position swap. And now, if the position symbol equals the symbol on the chart, by using the command function, it will output a text followed by the calculated value for each text and a new line. This is the end of the if statement. We also need to close the for loop from above. And that should be it. Oh, this one belongs to the first if statement and the final one will close the on tick function. Okay, um, if you don't know if you have the right amount of braces, you can mark one and Meta Editor is going to mark the other one that belongs to this one. So let's mark this one and yes, it belongs to the for end brace. Now let's compile the code. Everything is fine, so now you can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we are just going to open a chart. Let's close this position here and open a new one for testing purposes. And now you can simply drag the file simple position info on your chart. Please allow automated trading and click OK. And when the next price change comes in, we should see this. Let's try another currency pair, drag it on the chart, allow automated trading. 
wait for the next tick. Oh, I forgot I need to open a position. So let's do a cell position here. This is the new cell position. And when the price changes, we see the information that we have calculated for our open position. If you know how to do that, you can use the information to calculate a lot of automated things for your expert advisor. For example, you could close your position if the profit has reached the $10 mark or whatever you prefer. Okay, now you know how to calculate position properties on different forex charts and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.